Da er ikke så meget bedre her i nærbundet, så, så kan man ikke få en kæreste og sådan, sådan noget andet. Sarah Gavron's haunting documentary leads us through the remote village of near Kornat, where the washing hangs out to dry amid the seal pelts and elk horns. The ice is melting and the fish stocks are dwindling, and the lonesome kids can only dream of escape. Hvor mange venner? 366. Kammerat Asien i Dauer, Denmark, Mexico, Amerika. Jeg lader så i morgen og sådan noget, det man pilte om. Peter, if the aim of cinema is to take us to places that you barely knew existed, then then this really succeeded. I felt like I kind of lived there by the end yes. of it. Yes, I, I, what I thought was was sort of great about it, the way Sarah Gavron, who is a, a feature film director who did uh, the version of Brick Lane, uh, what while ago now, about five or six years ago. What she succeeded in doing very, very nicely was tuning in to the place, not just showing up and filming, but she kind of tuned in mm. to the vibe, mm. and uh, I, th I thought it was really nice. I've got to say, I, I feel like I've grown up all my life watching documentaries about remote village communities whose way of life is in danger of dying out. I mean, there must be very few villages left now. Yeah, without and a been film crew. Without a film crew. <laughs> all of them dying out with film <laughs> crews there. Um, what was interesting about this movie, I sense that maybe Sarah Gavron's start, and she didn't know what her story was. Is her story about climate change, or is it about a much more local economic issue of this fish processing mm. factory? I suspect that she thought when she started that it was about climate change, mm. because she started off with this biblical quotation from about Noah's flood. And very clearly she thought that is the deal, that, that their way of life is being infinitesimally slowly eroded by the change in temperature of the fish fisheries and the waters and everything like that but then i think she was slightly surprised by no there's a new story a much more arguably more important and certainly more immediate story mm. of this fishing uh, factory which is kind of going broke but can all the villagers six, 60 or 70 of them come up with a 2000 kroner or whatever it is to buy it out and turn it into a cooperative but uh, for one reason or other that's not the way gavron chose to go with it she kind of had her three or four stars that she kind of isolated mm. were her kind of interesting characters, one of whom is this guy called Lars, this bloke who's 18 years old. He's on Facebook, he's on everything else, he's a Liverpool fan. He, the internet has made him a citizen of the world. He's not just confined to this little village in Greenland. And rather hurtfully for all the elders, he can't wait to get the mm. hell out of there. Andrew, how do you think you'd fit in in Nakornat? Uh, well, I think I'd be out there wrestling the polar bears on the ice. Yeah. You wouldn't have the sewage job that that man no, has. No, no. Oh, God, that, 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 that was, kind that of, was there pretty horrible. There was a bittersweet comedy to that, yeah. wasn't there? I did think there was a lot of blood in this film, which, which um, obviously when you're you know, living the sort of existence they do, which is right, you know, right at the edge, very, very little uh, processed food around. I mean, they spend a lot of time cutting seals up and polar bears and, and um, the many, many scenes where the, the ice is sort of covered in gore mm. and there's mm. in, in the sea as well. Um, and the excitement about shooting the polar bear. Yeah. They all say, we never see a polar bear around exactly. here. But we just <laughs> shot one. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. Peter, going back to your earlier point, is there something suspect about our interest in this? Um, it sort of alludes to it at the end where suddenly there's a, a boat of tourists who come to visit this place and you think well then there's also this weird tourist industry of yes. let's look at the isolated community that's let's, dying on its arse. I didn't feel that I was being implicated in the tourist industry in the end although possibly that is a, a piece of sleight of hand maybe I am in fact being implicated. Yeah, I mean in maybe the that's industry. a little disingenuous by yeah. the filmmaker which is you know that's what she's doing and that's in what way, we're yeah. invited to do and the sort yeah. of advice to feel superior to these sort of sort of Danish pensioners who are sort of you know, off on a cruise ship. <laughs>